Hi guys, Adam from AT Performance. So, so far this morning, nothing has really gone to plan and it's put me in quite a bad mood. Ordinarily, I don't think I'd come onto this blog and complain to you guys. And I was thinking about it as more things, more things have been going wrong throughout the day. And, and not only do I not want this to be a place where I just come on and rant about problems or, or things of that nature, I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you guys a, a way of looking at the day that I use uh, that can certainly help uh, when, when things aren't going in your favour. Um, let's, let's face it, it's easy to have a great day uh, when everything's coming up millhouse. So I think when things are going wrong or you're, you, you wake up and you're in a bad mood or you're just having a bad day, um, it's very easy to form the mentality of, I just need to get through the day. I just got to get to the end of the day. I just got to make it to lunchtime. I wanted to give you a, a different way of, of thinking about your day and not just for when you have a bad day, but for every day. To change, to change that, I just got to get through the day to what can I get from the day? If you approach everything you do or, or, or when you're thinking about what you want to achieve by the time you're laying in bed tonight as what do I want to get from the day? Uh, I think that really changes the tone from I've just got to get through the day or I've just got to make it through the day. So one of the things I'd invite you to do would be to do something uplifting. So for me it's, it's listen to some music that I enjoy or learn something or try something I've never done before. They're, they're the sorts of things that, that really uplift me. So even just speaking this into the camera uh, has, has already made me feel a bit better about my day. I still have to head over there and <laughs> solve a whole bunch of problems, but, uh, but I can do it in good spirits now. So I just wanted to take that minute uh, to share that with you guys, uh, and hopefully it can help you uh, get something from your day um, versus dragging your feet and just trying to get through the day. Now let's head down to the shop and, and make something cool. So one of my jobs today was to start and finish two R33 catch cans. Uh, managed to smash that out. It's just gone 4.30, so not too bad of a day's effort. Uh, but now I've got to get them in the phosphoric acid and uh, get them ready for powder coat. So let's do that. Just got the brackets as well, um, but I don't have enough hooks. So this Sunday I've entered AT Performance in the All Asian Day at Lakeside Raceway. It's my first display here uh, since I moved to Queensland. Just going to be a three by three meter marquee uh, with a couple of tables and some products set up. Uh, definitely, if you're going to be out that way and you see it, see this uh, video before, then uh, come out and say good day. But uh, it's 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 made my week uh, quickly become a, a monster week. So we've just got the R33 catch cans uh, organised. I still have uh, some S13 and Evo six catch cans to finish prepping a whole bunch of uh, coal pack covers and heat shields and things to go 
and tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'm going to be working on some air boxes and uh, some R32 catch cans uh, to take those out to show everybody what I do here. Uh, but right now I've got a really interesting one uh, that I haven't done for a long time that I want you guys to follow me along with. So these are my GTIR coil pack covers. Very popular product for me, specifically in my uh, baby Godzilla design. Very, very popular one. Uh, you guys love it. I love it. It's it's awesome. Over the last two days, I've actually got an order for these, uh, which I haven't had for a very long time. And if I'm completely honest, I didn't even know I still had them listed on my website. And that is uh, GTIR with the R in red. And I, I resin fill those. You can see the resin behind the packs there. Uh, I actually sold two to two separate customers, which is uh, which is very unusual for me to have not sold one for over a year. So on these, the R gets engraved a little bit deeper than the rest of the writing, and then we resin fill it uh, with a syringe. So let's go ahead and resin fill uh, these R's. Now I was just about to start a time lapse uh, and do this on a time lapse, but uh, I'm trying to get more content. Uh, so. I'm going to chat to you while I do this. Um, this is not my forte. Obviously, I am a aluminium welder. Um, this is just a, a passion project, messing with resins and carbon fiber and things like that. So this resin that I use is a two to one mix. Uh, so two parts. So as you can imagine, we don't need a great deal uh, to fill up these bars. And it is actually quite humid today, uh, so this resin will go off quite quickly. Slot the hardener in there. So I just tint the resin uh, with a basic red acrylic. Uh, if you ever if you're ever doing this yourself, uh, acrylic paint uh, or they will sell a pigment powder, uh, which I have, but only in yellow and pink. Uh, so I'm just going to do this away from the camera. And my mixing stick, of course, is a welding rod. So I'm not going to try and instruct you guys on, on how to mix up resin. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube uh, doing this. So one thing that I have found now, I just bought a bunch of uh, needles and syringes off of eBay. Um, you can literally buy anything on eBay. Now, I don't know if you get to see that at all, but this is actually a blunt needle. Um, I don't think it's a prerequisite for doing this kind of work, but I, I just felt more comfortable buying a blunt needle. Uh, I didn't want to make my, didn't want to get myself on any lists or anything. Um, call me paranoid, but so now I'm going to go ahead and fill the R up and uh, wish me luck really think the key is to not get any air bubbles, uh, which I've already failed at. So one done, um, you probably couldn't see there and I didn't want to speak while I was doing it in case I messed it up, uh, but I actually uh, just used the, the needle or the syringe to suck the air bubbles out. Oh, I think I just found 
the sound issue with my recording. Uh, if so, hopefully we're getting better sound now. <laughs> Alright guys, so there's a, a bit of a different job from me. Uh, usually I will take the leftover resin uh, and I will fill uh, the keyrings and stuff that I make, the carbon fiber keyrings. But I took all my keyrings home uh, to package them uh, for this upcoming show because I just wasn't getting the time here. Uh, so of course I, I have no keyrings uh, when this job comes through, but uh, such is life. Um, happy we got this one out. Uh, so that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, as always, thank you so much uh, for spending this time with me. For your ongoing support, I, I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.